Hey guys, thanks for checking out another video here. Uh, my name's Dion and I am going to uh, show you this Alps Mountaineer Zephyr 310. I just got it yesterday. Um, I do have a, a camping trip planned for next weekend. So I brought it out to the ball field here. I thought I'd set it up, make sure all the parts and components are there. The last thing you want to do is go into a, a, a four hour hike, get there, go to set your tent up and you're missing a pole that didn't come with it or a defective product. So I'm like, hey, we better set this thing up. And I figured, hey, I might as well show you guys what it is too. Um, so yeah, so I, I did do a lot of research on this. I think I, it took me about two weeks before I finally pulled the trigger on it. Um, I, this has, I think it had 4.5 out of five stars. Um, I would probably give it something with, after setting it up and we'll check that out too. I would probably give it a three and a half to four stars out of five. Um, but all the, the, the reading that I did do on the reviews, two of the negatives are only two one stars. Um, one was, hey, I bought, <laughs> I bought a three person tent. I can't fit three people in it. Um, hey, that's just the way it is. All, all, as long as I can remember, even as a kid, a three-person tent means you can fit two people in it. A two-person tent fit means you can fit one person in it. It's like that across the board. Okay, the other complaint was that, hey, the screen is kind of thin. So when you take this canopy off, and we'll get a look at that too, um, you'll see that the screen on there is, is thin. Um, he said it was trashed within a week. It was ripped and garbage. All the other reviews on it say, hey, that's not been an issue in our case. So I'll be the judge of that. To me, it did seem a little bit on the thin side too, but we'll see as we put some use on it um, next week here. So yeah, so if this is the type of content you would like, um, I'm always in the outdoors. I'm in Min Northern Minnesota here, so I spend a lot of time up by the Superior Hiking Trail, along Lake Superior, as well as the Boundary Water Canoe area up in that uh, uh, area of, of the state of Minnesota. So hit subscribe, and we try and put out about a video about once a week here. like it has a couple of basic very simple tie straps guaranteed to be lost the first or second time I use it all right so let's check out these stakes I think they're aluminum all right so they're your standard bungee type of connection set up here again I've never set this up I have not read the instructions so I'm going to blind and see how it goes okay See the poles are both identical, identical poles. Um, that's convenient. All right, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so it looks to me then by the by what I saw online and by the the curvature in the uh, pole there, is one end of this tent is going to be higher than the other. Okay. And I always hook up one pole first, and then come back and do the second pole. tension on here. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get these ratcheted up here. Again, I've never set this thing up before, so it's kind of a learning here just to see if this will be the hardest time I'll ever have setting it up. We know that. Alright, so it does seem pretty solid. So some of the reviews, or I shouldn't say some, one of the two bad reviews was about this um, netting being too thin. It is fairly thin, I can see that. But I don't know if I'd be concerned yet about it ripping. Okay, so here you, we do see this crossbar. Okay, so we, it does go in each one of these grommets. There's one on each end here. Okay, and if I back up, this, it's on the tall side. And make sure and thread through um, this piece here that'll give you a lot more of the stability okay and you'll see there is a what is that about a 45 degree angle um, that is on the tall side so you'll see that there's a, a short side of the tent and a tall side i'm gonna bring you with me all right guys we got you a little bit more portable here so we're going to go ahead and jump in this tent um, see how much room I have. All right. Okay, so my head is touching and my feet are touching. Okay, so see that? 
then again my head is touching so if i were to lay it more of a diagonal then it's not as bad okay so if i'm more if i'm closer to the door a little bit of a diagonal position not as bad we'll see how my wife deals with that maybe kicks me in the night a few times but yeah it'll work all right so i'm gonna go ahead and throw the cover on and we'll see how that goes all right so this is heavy this is really heavy duty you can feel the mass of this this pretty light pretty lightweight i don't know it's so thin here but you know what it's 145 bucks if I can get two seasons out of it, how can I complain? All right, let me see if I can get this figured out here. Now. Put the clips up here. There we go. That makes it quick and easy. And we'll pop out some stakes. I'm not gonna stake the whole thing down, but at least give us a rough idea here. Let's see what else we got in here too. Oh yeah, we got our tie down ropes. We got a patch kit in here too. Nice. I always like to angle these. Make sure and step them down just a little bit so you're not tripping on them. And these are actually nice. Nice heavier duty aluminum stakes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead here and check this out. Um, so on the bottom of these, on the, each corner, there is a clip here. Okay, that's what's gonna be holding down um, the, the cover here. And the clips can be tensioned, so I'll go back over to one here that's still in place. So that's kind of nice, you know, if that clip is a little bit loose, tighten it up, okay? You're also gonna see here, and I, I pegged this one in, there are two grommets, okay? So the nice part about having the two grommets is if you want to tighten that up a little bit, like I have in this case, I do have it on the inside grommet. If I want a little bit of a looser tent, I can put that on the outside grommet. Okay, so that's cool. What I wanted to show you is this window. This window's pretty interesting. Okay, so we have the window up in here, and then we have this piece. So when it's down, and then when it's up, you can just use your Velcro here, and there you go. Okay, I don't know how good that's gonna be in a high windstorm, but it keeps the air flowing potentially we'll crawl in there in a second and see how that goes okay we do also have another um, window right here so again you can string this out pull it down tighten it up keep that cross ventilation going okay so we do have a velcro catch on the bottom there okay we're gonna go ahead and open that up okay and we do also have our cross ties here See if I can do this one-handed. There we go. That'll keep that open. There's two of them there. I just have one temporarily. Okay, so there is a vestibule on each side, so you can store some gear under here. Um, you could stretch this out more than I have now. Okay, to help give you that more room. So at least you have some room under there for your boots, some of your gear. There's not a lot of space there. I don't know if your pack would fit there. Maybe, but definitely some boots and, and some other gear. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump back in here. Okay, so we're back in our tent here. We got the, the cover on. Um, we'll just take a little look around here. Okay, so again, two vestibules, two doors. That's nice. Okay, so here's my side. We're going to lay back down in here. Okay, we do have our gear storage right here, which is nice. So around the door... Okay, so around the door seal is, is where I'm hearing the complaints. I should say, I think there was a couple complaints online about that. And they do say to put some seam sealer um, on this. But they do also say as you're going in and out of the door, you can see how severe the angle is. Um, I could see you getting wet coming in and out. I mean, you can do the quick shake off, of course. But still, I, I can see that being a potential issue, but not a big enough issue to make me not want to buy this. So, yeah, all in all, I don't know, it got four out of five stars. I would probably give it, well, I mean, it retails for like $225. I got it for $145. I'd probably give it a three and a half um, out of five stars, I suppose. Um, I would certainly buy it if you're not expecting to get, you know, long-term use out of it, if you're not going to do heavy, hardcore use. But, I mean, I do, again, have the three-person here, and there's only 
like a half a pound from the two person to the three person. So I was like, why not? You know, why would you not pay that? Um, I think it was 15 bucks extra and a half a pound. So why not go for the three person? So absolutely. All right. So if this is the type of content that you like. Um, please hit subscribe. Um, I usually put out a video here about once a week religiously and we're always up on the North Shore into the Boundary Waters on the Superior Hiking Trail. So if you're into the outdoors, if you're into staying active, this is the channel you want to check out.